welcome back ladies and gentlemen boys and girls cats and dogs and rabbits and welcome your beautiful faces to a brand new video today we're back here in the uk and we're going to hit some charity shops now that i've done a few goodwills i really want to compare the two so we're off to ormskirk but first there is a local charity shop literally in a walking distance so we're going to go and do that one now and see what they have to offer and hopefully we can find some absolute beautiful items today. There is some American videos coming out very, very shortly, but Frankie wants to edit them, and I want Frankie to edit them because he will do it so much more better than me, and I think they deserve that. So, without further ado, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and ding on that bell so you do get notified when I upload next. And let's get into some charity shops here in Lancashire. And here it is, Willowbrook Hospice. Let's see what they have to offer today hopefully we can really see a decent comparison between english charity shops and the goodwill in america and we're off to a good start 15 pound so uh, this is a decent brand to be on the lookout rod and gun it's like a hunting brand six pound fifty should be an easy 50 quid because it's a hundred percent marina wall this is also quite cool. Dated 1991 Chicago Blues on a Fruit of the Loom heavy tag. Four pound. I don't know how much it's going to be worth, but I think we'll take that as well. A little bit of a shame. We have a Barber Taylor Fit checkered shirt. I want 10 pound plus. It's a size small. The fact it's because it's a size small, I think that's the reason why I'm going to leave it because you could probably get about 25 at an absolute maximum push. And uh, yeah, being a size small, it's not really uh, something that I'd sell. Shame. This is awesome. French Connection Large, 100% lamb wool. Look at the design on that. It's freaking wacky. 650 there. I didn't know if you knew this, but this is John Luke's favourite film. Yeah, so that rod and gun size medium thing. Merino wool. I've just had a look on eBay as I've bought it. And some of the merino wool jumpers, this is a quarter set, are going for three figures, which is incredible. Absolutely redonkadonk. The quarter zips don't seem to do as well, probably like 50 ish quid, but £6.50 into 50. <laughs> yes please like i said as well they are going to be there is definitely 100 percent going to be about seven or eight episodes of thrifting in america with a bit of vlog towards each end of each episode but frankie wants to edit them so you're gonna have to put up with me editing today's video so maybe there might be the usa episode number one coming out on sunday but if it doesn't come out on sunday it's coming out on tuesday so just bear with with a couple of more UK ones because I know there's a few people that are asking me in the comments if I've done any American ones. We have, we've got about eight videos coming out for your beautiful faces. But today's video, we're going to concentrate just going around a few charity shops. So let's get a wiggle on and let's drive to the town of Ormskirk. Right, the first one, Roy Castle Lung Cancer. Let's see what's inside. We've got one hour, so let's. Uh, Let's get a move on. It's funny because uh, everywhere you go in America, their jean rail is live, like absolutely full to the brim with Levi's. And ours are full of gap. And uh, next, the difference is incredible. Oh, and Giacomo. Right, looking through the shirt. That's a bit of a wacky design, but Burton's crew clothing. Some crew clothing stuff can do pretty well. Not the shirts, I don't think. But it's looking a bit of a dud i mean you look like missus you're loving life just chilling there but there's a lot of these um oxford reading books normally excuse you normally when they're in their packaging i tend to pick them up but not when they're like that because that's a lot of work oh uh, well, the first shop well that was very unsuccessful but there's a fair few charity shops here in Ormskirk, so hopefully it picks up. Next stop, YMCA. Um, yep, that's still here. Got one of them feelings that today is going to be one of them days where we hardly find anything. Because 
We're not doing very, very well to be fair, unless these are what I think they are. Ah, uh, no, they're lamb's wool. If you can find the Pringle of Scotland, cashmere, you almost have a winner, but these are both lamb's wool. Probably gonna kick myself for not picking this up, but I'm not, it's a bit bobbly. Uh, there is a few, oh, I don't know. It's cool, but there's just something about it. It's not, I'm not, I'm not impressed with the solds. Uh, there's a few marks as well. So for that reason, it's going back 750 for Jaeger. Cheers then. Unfortunately, a YMCA was a bust, but over the street, we have Salvation Army. So believe in action, let's go. Pick this up, Footjoy XL, some beautiful Argyle pattern, 100% merino wool. I think there's going to be like 25 in that, six pound. So I'm, I'm, I'm a bit dubious, I'm umming and ahhing. What do you guys do? Let me know in the comment section below, would you have picked this up? Because I'm very stumped on it. Not too sure. There's a couple of these Lake Monsters MLB minor league baseball, but they're just not worth anything in the UK. We've got one there. And then we've got one there, so I think we're just going to leave them. Found something. Diesel industry. These are the Slankers. Slankers? Waist 32, leg 30. Seven pound. Should be an easy 30, hopefully. Really nice condition. Nice slim fit too. Beautiful. Next stop, the Children's Society. So, mm -hmm. straight in. Three ninety nine for a pair of five fourteen Levi's, and on offer as well. I think we take them. Something a bit different. This is a Cristiano Ronaldo CR seven black jeans. This is the Type S model. You can tell that by looking inside here. Most Ronaldo jeans have that. Bit of a small size, but should be able to get like maybe twenty five thirty quid. And the half price at one ninety nine. Bernardo's probably my favourite charity shop. Fingers crossed. So you guys know I love Hotters because they are such quick sellers and they're so easy to research. These, honestly, I mean they do look pretty ugly, but well, for me, ugly. Uh, but they should be like thirty quid. So six pound into thirty, we take that, we move, we reinvest. Look at them. Beautiful. And just spotted these in the corner of my eye. Three pound for a pair of Clark boat shoes. Should be an easy 22 to 25. Not the biggest margins, but we take what we can take today because it's, it's very slim picking. So three pound into 22 to 25 pound. Nice sort of like knot effect on the back as well, which is pretty cool on the soles, sorry. Three pound, yes please. So I would pick this up, nice sort of north face for three pound size small, but it's got some horrendous wear on the uh, one of the pits. And it being a size small, um, and this, this is starting to crack here as well. So I might, I'm thinking of just leaving it to be honest with you. Shame. Bit of an unusual one for your faces today. This is a brand I'm not too familiar with. I've sold it once before and I sold it for like 25, 30 quid. This is Sailors and Brides. It's a nice sort of like quilted barber effect. I think we'll take that as well and aim for about the 30 pound mark now that we are coming into a season. So we have three shops left. One being British Heart Foundation. Hmm. I've got a good feeling today. You know you're gonna struggle when you find Gabichi for £7.50p. I'd have normally picked that up if it was like three or four quid. It's been a uh, proper, proper, proper struggle today. I'm not gonna lie. But hey, I've got to show the good, the bad, and the ugly. And today, it's definitely a bad one. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it says fart. <laughs> oh, I'm losing the world to live. I've got faith. I've got faith in Cancer Research UK. Especially now that I've seen the sail rails inside. Would you just look at these slippers? Oh my god. Thing of beauty. Uh, I would have probably got these, but look at that chunk. The Converse leather ones obviously do a little bit better than the normal ones. If it didn't have the damage, probably looking at 25, 28 quid with the damage. 
I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try. Back it pops on its shelf. Ah, uh, it's a shame these are 12 pound. Joe Lindenberg jeans do pretty well. Probably 28, 30 quid in them, but not enough meat on the bone. So unfortunately, this is going to stay here. I think today has confirmed that Goodwills are far better than our local charity shops because there is a lot of rubbish that gets donated. <laughs> it's a shame. I can confirm that today has been one hell of a struggle. We're on to the last shop now. Fingers crossed we can find some bits and pieces in today's little uh, last store. Could this be the saving grace? This screams 80s, 90s, but I can't actually find anything whatsoever on it. I feel it's only a pound. But then would it just sit my death bar until I find something on it? I don't, I don't know. I mean, this geezer is literally loving his life. Oh, look how wide and beady his eyes are. <laughs> uh, mm, legend. Finally, something that I actually can scream about. Burberry. Beautiful colour. Look at that. It's like a sort of like brownie camel colour, golden sort of embroidered logo. Really nice condition. £5. Nice slim fit as well. I think we should be able to get at least 25 maybe even £30 for that. So, for the sake of five quid, we take it. And I think this is going to be the last item of the day, and that is a New York Yankee cap. Pay £4, but yeah, it's an easy 15 so after fees and postage, you're probably making a 5 to £6, but it really does fly, So uh, and in beautiful condition as well. So easy to list, easy to post, easy to store. And there we have it bag full of stock did i enjoy it no did we do well no would i do it again yes why something to do in it i guess but when we get home i will uh pick out a couple of the items and i will show you how much we paid for them what we're looking for uh, to getting back on ebay uh, i'm not gonna go for everything because it's a very very short haul but it just proves that i do try and show almost everything the good the bad and the ugly and today, again, has been a very, very bad one. But I'll go through a few items in a bit more depth. But now I'm going to enjoy a, a cheeky weather spoons and a pint. And, uh, yeah, get back to that. So we are now back and I really want to show your beautiful faces a couple of items, maybe two or three items from today's haul. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything today because there's a lot of bread and butter items. And it is pretty bad haul, like, you know, but this video is going out, so it just proves that I'm not all about only putting out the good stuff. It's a bad, bad haul, but we have got a few items I do actually want to show you and showcase properly because it's now coming to that time of year where we need to be looking at wash labels and what materials some garments of clothing are made out of because the winter is now coming and there's a lot of money to be made if you just look at the wash label. So I've picked out a few items, some new brands that you probably don't know, some new uh, materials that you need to be on the lookout for, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna flip you around, show you on the kitchen floor what exactly I am on about. So let's- Well, we are going to be starting with a brand that some of you may be unaware. As you can see, we paid four pound, and it's a UK size large, and the brand is called Sailors and Brides. Very easy to find, very easy to price check. Every single one of their jackets has this stitched inside and it gives you the exact title of the jacket. This is the Megalion jacket. It's a nice quilted, almost barber, Samuel Windsor sort of quilted jacket and it's probably worth £30. However, solds are not saying that because obviously the time of year the previous 90 days have been and you can only see that on ebay however if you do have which we all should be using and that's terapeak you can see these have been selling on terapeak in the winter for about 30 to 35 pound so definitely be on the lookout for sailors and brides and make sure when you are listing your items of clothing especially coats and big big jumpers and knits that you are using terapeak because that will be able to give you a true reflection on price but definitely on the lookout for sailors and brides four pound paid should be an easy 30 pound now we move on to the diesel pair of jeans diesel are so easy 
to identify and to price. And everyone should be picking up diesel or, or at least having a look on sold. So this is diesel Slinica and these sell all day long for about 30 to 50 pound. Beautiful embroidered button there. Look at that, nice sort of like embossed button, sorry. However, I just want to give you a quick tip, top, top tip, top tip of the day. When it comes to diesel jeans, look for the wash label, very nice wash label. And as you can see, unfortunately, these are made in Tunisia. If you do find diesel jeans are made in Italy, you can actually charge roughly 10 to 20% more because people just love the fit, the feel, and the quality of it being made in Italy. Diesel is an Italian brand, and that's probably why you can charge a little bit more when it comes to diesels. So definitely be on the lookout for diesel and have a look at the wash label for that made in Tunisia or made in Italy. Obviously, still worth picking up if it's made in Tunisia, but like I said, if it's made in Italy, you can charge a little bit more. Right, we're now moving on to the CR7. If you don't know what CR7 is, well, where have you been? It's Cristiano Ronaldo's brand of clothing. Well, it's his brand in general, to be honest, CR7. These are a pair of CR7 jeans, and these are the Type S. Again, so simple to get a price check. Just type in CR7 Type S black skinny jeans. And you can see that some black ones go for like 30 quid, some blue ones go for 35, 38, but there is some good sell through rate as well. Obviously there's some that sell for 9.99, but again, it's like any pair of jeans like Levi's. Some people get 10 pound for a pair of Levi's. I know fair well that I get 25, 30 pound for a pair of Levi's. It's the same with these CR7s. If you're willing to wait, you can get the higher prices. So what I would do is list these up for £30 and I'll take offers in and around the £25 mark, but I will not be selling these for any less than £25. Stick to your guns, take good photos, bish bash bosh, wait for them higher price sales. At the end of the day, your time costs. So if your time costs as much as mine, you're gonna want them big prices. <laughs> but definitely be on the lookout for Cristiano Ronaldo clothing. Jeans do pretty well. Uh, the phone cases for some reason used to do pretty well as well. But yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that patch there. And the last item I want to show you and showcase properly, and it's all its flipping glory, is this brand Rod and Gun. Not because of the brand, but in fact what it is made of. So the point of this video is get to know your types of wool, your materials, and all that gravy stuff. Because there's a lot of money to be made in different types of materials. You want to be on the lookout for cashmere, merino wool, alpaca wool, all them good stuff. So, uh, yeah. Why? Why? Well, it's very simple. Now we are now getting to that time of year where things are getting a bit colder. Countries are starting to freeze. It's freaking freezing outside. People want to keep warm. So they will pay extra money for good quality materials. Merino wool being one. Cashmere probably being the best of the bad bunt, you know what I'm saying? You wanna be making sure you are checking all the labels, all the material labels. If you can find one that's slightly different and not just wool, like merino wool, or extra fine merino wool, or cashmere, or alpaca, or Shetland, or all them types of wool, just pick it up, research it, and then don't put it down until you're 100% happy with what it sells for. That's the reason why I picked this one up, just because the brand's good, but the material is also very 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 good and there we have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls cats and dogs thank your beautiful faces for watching if you did enjoy that video please do me one favor and smash that like button let's try and get over 120 likes today like i said it's very important to get to know your materials because materials equals money in this game the more materials you know the higher prices you can charge on ebay depop or vinted look out for your merinos your cashmere your shetlands alpaca all them good walls are absolutely phenomenal for this time of year so get to know your materials now <laughs> anyway guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you beautiful lot in the next one hopefully maybe the american ones will start dropping next week thank you guys i've been your boy kieran and i'll see you beautiful lot in the next one boom